Moving on to the next exercise, which is English into Arabic. I've already written down the questions for you to make it easier for you guys. Question one is, there are many pieces of wood in the dirty garden of the Sheikh. If you refer to chapter four, which was the first lesson on genitive, you will find quite similar structured sentences in that chapter. And from there, we learned that in this case, many pieces of wood would be the subject. And in the dirty garden of the Sheikh would be the predicate. We learned in chapter four that when the subject is indefinite and the predicate is the prepositional phrase, it's usual to put the predicate first, i.e. the prepositional phrase before the subject. So in this case, we're going to put the, the dirty garden of the Sheikh first. So in is fi, uh, the dirty garden of the sheikh. So here, as you can see, garden is the possession and sheikh is the possessor. So garden is mudaf and the sheikh is mudaf ilayhi. And the dirty here is going to be the adjective of garden. And we know that nothing can come between mudaf and mudaf ilayhi. Hence, the adjective will be put after the idafa. So let's do it. Fi bus fi bus ta nil. Okay, it's a uh, it's genitive because there's half jar fi before it, and it's only gonna get one kasra because mudaf can't have it and win. Fi bus ta nil. Shaykhi. Okay, and here the Shaykh is going to be genitive, it's going to have Kasra at the end because it's the Mudaf Ilahi. So this means in the garden of the Shaykh. And now we would put dirty, which is the adjective of garden, after Shaykh. So it's going to be Wa Sikhi. Okay, because it's going to, it's going to match in the four criteria with Bustan. So it's going to be fi bustanil shaykh khil wa sikhi shaykh khil wa sikhi Again it's genitive because bustan is genitive and it's definite because bustan is definite because as we learned when the mudaf is definite the mudaf becomes definite automatically in the dirty garden of the sheikh Now we need to put there are many pieces of wood as we learned in chapter four, and you could refer back to it, they are will be implied. So we just need to put many pieces of wood. Please refer to lesson four if, if you need to refresh your memory, inshallah. Uh, many pieces of wood here, pieces of wood, these mudaf and mudaf lay, so it's going to be kita'u, kita'u, Wood is khashabun. So in this case, it's going to be indefinite and it's going to have the mean pieces of wood. It's going to be a genitive because it's mudaf ilayhi. And then we're going to put many here. It's going to be kathiratun. The reason why it's feminine singular is because it's the adjective of kita'u. Kita'u is broken plural and refers to non-human beings, so it's considered feminine singular for agreement purposes, number one. And secondly, it's nominative to dhammas because kita'u is nominative, it has dhamma as opposed to khashabin, which has kasra. So it becomes fi busta nil shaykhil wasihi kita'u khashabin kathiratun. Question two. Two morsels of meat fell on the ground from the table. So we're going to start off with Waka'a, which means it fell. Waka'a, two morsels of meat. So what's the subject of Waka'a? Two morsels of meat. So that's going to come first. So it's going to become it a ta. So if you just say two pieces, it would have been kit a tani. But here it says two pieces of meat. So here we can have mudaf and mudaf ilayhi. And when dues form the mudaf, they lose the noon. So it becomes kit'ata. Meat is lahmin. Two 
few pieces of meat fell on the ground from the table on can be translated as ala ground the ground could be al ard so ala al ardi from the table minal maida some of this vocabulary has been covered before in the previous chapter al maida specifically refers to a dining table so waqa'a qit'ata lahmin ala al ardi minal maidati two morsels of meat fell on the ground from the table number 3 the teachers of the big new school are good here we know the teachers is going to be mudaf and school is going to be mudaf ilayhi dafa construction then once we done the dafa construction we're going to put the adjectives after that which is going to be big and new these are adjectives of the school let's do it so first we're going to put teachers which is the mudaf Uh, teacher is muallimun plural is going to be muallimuna and instead of putting muallimuna the noon is going to drop because is mudaf muallimu and then madrasa is school so this is dal madrasati so muallimul madrasati mad rasati madras madrasati the teachers of the school now we're going to put the adjectives so the adjectives are big and new and they are adjectives of school so they're going to match al madrasata in all the four criteria of an adjective so first of all they're going to be feminine singular and they're also going to be genitive and they're going to be definite so it's going to be al kabirati al ka bi rati al jadidati in this case is going to join directly on to lam so it's going to be til ja di da ti so these two adjectives both are feminine singular because they have ta marbuta they are definite because they have alif lam and they are genitive because they have kasra so it means the teachers of the big new school are good good is hasanun in this case is going to be plural to match muallimu so it's going to be hisanun which is a plural of hasanun i'm sure there may there are many other words which can be used instead of hisanun for, for example jayiduna and so forth so this case we'll just use hisanun so muallimul madrasati al kabirati al jadidati hisanun the teachers of the big new school are good he is a man of wealth so this is quite easy i think he means huwa uh, rajulun means man he is a man and it's going to be zu malin which means possessor of wealth i is wealthy huwa rajulun zu malin zu is used as mudaf as we know malin is mudaf lahi you are of small intelligence this should be quite simple if you see my previous video and understood it correctly that's why i always recommend to the students that if they don't understand a lesson or forget some of it they should watch and revise the lesson again and again until it embed this in the head because if you know the rules correctly all what we covered in the last video this should be very easy anta is you anta Uh, small of intelligence can be qalil lakli qalil lakli means small of intelligence aql means intellect qalil means little you are little of intellect that's all inshallah have a go at the rest of the question yourself and let me know if you get stuck on anything or if you want me to check your answers and i will do that inshallah jazakumullah khairan